Good morning. Let me take you about around my aircraft so you can see it. Take a look at everything we have. So, <clears throat> this is a Citation Art Corps, model 1990, serial number 104. It's owned by the United States Army Reserves. Um, in here, you'll find a brake reservoir, uh, some fluid, some alcohol fluid that is used to, uh, in case of emergency. Uh, also, a luggage compartment. I'll let you see on the side so you have an idea of what it looks like. See? So, there's a couple of avionics compartment, uh, avionics uh, machines uh, that deal with the avionics on the aircraft. This is for uh, the military puts these in front of the aircraft as part of the missile protection system, uh, overall missile protection system that we have. Uh, when you lock these, they have dual locks, so they have two clips and a key. Part of the pre-flight is to check the pressure and the tire condition. There's two pitot tubes. This gives you airspeed and some pressure indication. Same thing. Um, again, this is all part of luggage systems. The same as the other side. It's just, and you can see them. Uh, you can see through on both sides. Here's the static port indications. Part of the pre-flight. Here's the pitot tube. This is a AOA indication as you fly along. It moves and it uh, generates an indication inside the cabin. This is the emergency exit. Uh, so you can see it says push emergency. Citation encore indication. This aircraft is painted white. Uh, some other aircraft are painted gray. Not all aircraft in the United States Army are painted the same. Uh, so they have these tiny little things supposed to be on the leaning edge of the wing. Uh, their boundary layer uh, disturbance, and that's to keep the layer of airflow in the aircraft longer. Uh, you notice the aircraft is has a metal leading edge and that's made on purpose so they, they can be heat up with the engine exhaust and it comes here and it heats up the leading edge of the of the wing uh, somewhere around 150 160 degrees and that helps the anti uh, the anti-ice qualities of the aircraft or the ice qualities of the aircraft so we can melt ice as we fly along. You know what these are, landing lights and taxi lights. Position lights and beacon, nav beacon. Of course, uh, lifting surfaces, surfaces, of course flaps. Uh, these things right here that look like a grill is a speed brake. Uh, Pratt & Windy engine. Part of the pre-flight is to open up uh, the this tiny little door and check if there is any detection of metal. That's how you do it. You go down, test the lamp, and then you go up. Also, you check the fluid size. Right now, it's in the middle, so we don't add anything because the aircraft tends to balance out uh, how much fuel it needs. Uh, these metal portion of it is a truss reversers, high truss reversers, and I think I sent you another video. There is another video that shows how they work. The bottom, <coughs> access to fuel. Fuel is closed, so I'll leave it closed. This is also part of our protection system. Uh, of course, uh, tail section does have not uh, does not have metal on it it's all rubber so uh, pressure builds up the rubber and if there is ice on it it will crack okay. part of our position lights 
cargo area. External power. All right, um, this little sticks allow, if the aircraft gets struck by lightning, allows the energy to flow outside. And then if they, if lightning has hit the aircraft, they kind of like spread out like little uh, cauliflower. That's how you know they've been used. Lights, right? If you need to refuel your aircraft, you can refuel over the wing or you can single point in the back of the aircraft where I showed you. You can't, you can't start here and then, you can start here and then there, but you can't start over there and end here because otherwise it will be off. Mount on the layers, metal wing, engine, antennas, GPS, ADF, navigation, and these doors are very special. They're called clamshell doors. Clamshell doors are unique because Cessna normally doesn't sell the aircraft with these. This is a special order from the Army, so they have the ability to use this aircraft as cargo. That's why the designation is U, Utility C, Cargo 35. Well, I hope you find this video entertaining and uh, you have a wonderful day wherever you are. Ciao.